Hey, Moral Gamers, welcome back. Today, we're taking a look at how I survived my wife and zombies. Yeah, how to survive. This is on Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and Steam. How's this one going to stack up? Keep watching. Quick word from our sponsor, 8-Bit Alley. 8-Bit Alley in the Crossroads Mall, St. Cloud, Minnesota. Great place to buy, sell, use new games all over Spectrum. Hey, we got lots of respect for them, especially the 8-Bit heroes that work there. So check them out, 8-Bit Alley in the Crossroads Mall. How to Survive is one of those zombie games, and it's it basically takes a combination of dungeon crawler and zombie and mixes it up and makes actually a really addicting game. I mean, first you feel like you got the freedom just to wander around, do whatever you want. You know, go let, let's, let's, let's go over here and let's find a well and start drinking, or let's go hunt deer and stuff like that. And it seems cool at first. All right, awesome! But then as the game goes on, you have to start worrying about hunger, you have to worry about thirst, are you tired, all sorts of things like that. And it's like, okay, what am I going to do here? And then you also get to build weapons. And I like the building weapon system because it, it, the weapons aren't great, but it feels like, all right, this is what would actually happen if you're in a zombie. So you take an air compressor, and an air compressor plus a tube plus a harpoon grip, and if you put some duct tape on it, because duct tape makes everything work, that basically becomes your pistol! Yeah! And then you can make shotgun by having a flared tube and all sorts of other weird and cool stuff. And it, it, it's actually neat the way they, they figure this out. The game also has a wicked sense of humor. Kovac is going to give you instruction manuals on how to survive! And, <laughs> oh wow, those instruction manuals are just, they're great humor. I, I don't know what to say, but <laughs> yeah, have a few good laughs on those. So is this the right game from you? And from a gamer standpoint, this is addicting. I mean, I spent a whole weekend playing this game and had a lot of fun with it. And I'm still playing it. And we had that series out there, How to Survive My Wife and Zombies. Um, because at first, honestly, at first, she was beating the living daylights out of me. Every time she'd finish beating zombies, she'd start beating on me. And it's like, honey, honey, I'm here! So, it, it was a lot of fun otherwise, though, especially co-op, but you can do it by yourself. Morally speaking, what do you got? Zombies. Blood. Gore. Zombie deer. Yes, zombie deer. And so, if you have issues with that, you may not want your kids playing that. Also, the NPCs, they, they uh, tend to have a lot of colorful language to use, too. Things like that, you may not want your kids here in... Um, but apart from those, though, it is a fun game, and gamers are recommended. This is one I'd be hesitant to let my kids play. Hey, if you enjoyed this review, remember to check us out. Moral Gamer, moralgamer.com. Like, subscribe, comment, share. We're on Twitter and Facebook, and we will see you there.